Look guys, the time is 6.51 and I'm outside. Six fifty one. Six fifty one. The guy with Rena is on the field and he stopped and spoken to one woman and now he's speaking to somebody else and she's waggling her hair and I don't I want to be careful I've got to be careful because there's heavy traffic It's a Morrison's home home delivery, not Hodel. It's a home delivery van. Right, let's uh, let the lady walk off. There's another couple walking with a dog around here as well. So obviously, I had trouble this morning. I'm trying to keep my dog safe. down here a bit just walk over the road a bit just come over this way no, I, I really after what has happened this morning I really don't want to stop and talk to anybody I just want to I know what what they mean home delivery Hodel. I know exactly what they, what they mean. And I haven't got shorts on either. I've got my trousers. Got these flats. This way. There's somebody else coming down with a big dog. I think we can get the crossing and <laughs> over again. Let's go. Oh, they're talking to each other. Another couple. Wearing a navy blue top this morning, but not shorts. I've got black t shirts on now. <sighs> My mum hasn't rung. I don't know, I don't think she's rung this afternoon. She usually rings as I'm coming off the field. <laughs> Good boy. All I want to do is walk my dog. I'm not interested in meeting people. I don't care who's talking to who, to who either. My concern is my dog's safety and mine. Not what other people are doing unless, unless they're involving me in it. <laughs> He's got a scent going, haven't you, Max? You can smell something. I'm not a hoe, I'm a human being. If you wear a dress, it doesn't make you a prostitute, does it? How many people have been outside today, women in a dress and a pair of shorts because of the hot weather? I wear a dress, I wear shorts, I'm a hoe, I'm a prostitute. <laughs> I don't stop and talk to people and I put that Charlie in his place. Not if 
after what I've been through. So it doesn't matter if they stop and then they start talking to all the women. I'm not interested. <laughs> don't take any notice anymore. You don't care what people think, and you, do, you know I don't come on the field. <laughs> come on the field to walk Max. <laughs> this way, this way, Max. This way, this way. <laughs> Good boy. Come on this way. That's it. I want to see who's called. My mum hasn't called since this morning at 24 minutes past 10. So I'm trying to walk this way, so we go down here. Is uh, completely empty or it's full of people. So, wait, Matt. You smell a female scent, can't you? I can't understand the attitude of it because I haven't had a relationship with anyone for ages. I haven't had a boyfriend or anything like that for years. What, what, why the hell would it matter if I wore a dress or a shorts? Why would it matter? Seriously, why would it matter what I was wearing? If seriously, it doesn't make sense to me. trying to uh, walk where I can walk and not have a dog come up to Max. Don't, don't get me wrong, if a, dog, if a dog accidentally comes up to me and somebody says sorry, that's fair enough. off <laughs> I 
The whole point is not to get cross because that's what they want. So when you, you know, I've gone out of to horrendous things. So if you just um, ignore it, then that's that's it. I'm not going to get a proper walk tonight. I don't think. What was I listening to before I came out? David Icke. David Icke. <laughs> I was listening to a podcast with James English and David Icke speaking. And um, David Icke was talking about his rheumatoid arthritis and how he couldn't pursue a football career because of his rheumatoid arthritis. And would you believe it, there's someone walking around the field with a bad leg. <laughs> there's, there's a chap walking around the field with a bad leg. <laughs> He's just gone down there, he was hobbling around with a bad leg. It's just gone past with a black dog. The women waggle their hair because you think you're going to, maybe you're going to go up and speak to a bloke, but I'm not. I don't go up to blokes and speak to them. <laughs> I did that once. My life was so fucking shitty. And I was so fucking bored on my own. This guy phoned up on a dating site and he said, Oh, come on, let's meet. And I stupidly did it. <laughs> and there were girls waggling their hair outside my window, waggling it with their long hair. <laughs> Three of them. And I could have got murdered or raped or worse. Just ignore it. I'm happy by myself. I'm happy single. I'm nice and clean. And um, yeah, I would like company. I think everybody likes a bit of company now and then. But I don't want that sort of company, thank you. <laughs> Some jogger. So uh, yeah. Doesn't matter how much hair somebody's got, does it? It all. C <laughs> it's, be it's, it's not giving a fuck what people think. They're, they're worrying about what I look like more than I am. Go this way. man walking by himself over there in the corner.
one guy by himself right there. Stuck in long tall grass. Never mind, we will get out of this. We will get out of this. Sun's out this evening. Very nice. Just over there. The castle and the cathedral. I prefer going this way, it's worse the other way. And when I go the other way, I people congregate in the playgrounds and they jump out. At least I've got escape routes. If I'm on here, I can walk cut right across. And I'm not in the middle of the road either people which is good it's all right it's better to have people in here than none at all <laughs> this really seems to be the morning walk at the moment I'll have to change what sort of time I go out tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's also the hot weather is making people come out early as well. <laughs> right, so we've got we've got a bloke walking across the field. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, um, it's 
a bit chilly as well. Um, if I have to run, I can run. I've got no problem with that. I'm just exhausted. So we've got a couple coming down there. And we've got a man walking across the field. Um, I've got a diary from like four or five years ago and you remember what you went through. You remember what you went through. <laughs> you forget about it that's why I keep a journal there's a train coming out of Rochester station going to Strood I expect first white one so that's why I used to keep a journal and then when I go back to it and I think oh my god that happened you know that happened did it There's someone else coming across the fields and the first thing they usually do is let the dog off. <laughs> I'm a fair way from them so unless they're coming this way. So for the moment, guys, I don't think, I think we're going to just head back home now. It is now quarter past seven.